Okay, this is a short video just showing you how to use our base building system on Daisy Aftermath. Um, the quickest way is to come to Trader. Everything, all these things can be crafted though, but this is just for players to get set up and start crafting stuff. So the first thing you'll need to get is a pot pole kit, a workbench kit, a wood shed, and a code lock. These are the only things you need to start building your base. And a toolbox if you want. This can dismantle parts and storage within your base too. If you don't want to use traders, you can get 10 planks and 40 nails and combine them together. Craft a workbench kit. Once you have your workbench kit, find somewhere where you want to build your base, place it down. After putting your workbench down, next thing you need to do is make a plot pole. You need a plot pole in order to place any of these other items, as they need to be inside a radius. So the ingredients you need for a plot pole are one scrap metal and one long stick. You don't need any tools for this. So if you place scrap metal and a long stick inside the workbench storage, and then click F again. Click plot pole, then click craft. As you can see, it's taken the ingredients out of there. Spawn a plot pole at your feet. Once you have your plot pole, you can place it down. And um, when you place it down, bear in mind this gives you a 25 meter radius. So you want to make sure you've got it in the right position as you can't move it after it's placed. Once it's placed, you can press J while it's inside the radius. And it will show you here on the right hand side all the items that are placed within your radius. Um, items will also cost money over time. So if you place walls and storage down, uh, the cost will obviously increase over time. And this money will increase every day depending on how many items you have in here. So to pay your territory, you just need to have money in your inventory and be inside the radius when you do it. Then you click pay territory and it will reset this timer back to 14 days. If you go over 14 days without paying, everything including your radius will delete. And then that way it keeps the server clean and it also keeps players proactive in maintaining their base. Also, you can add friends by this list. Enabled to, which enables them to build inside your radius also. So you can click a friend, click invite, they'll get an invite pop up, they press J, accept the invite, and then they'll be on your territory. I would recommend promoting each player so they can also invite people. Also, if you accidentally leave, never click leave by the way, if you accidentally leave, they can invite you back. They can't invite you back if they're not promoted. So make sure you do that. Once your plot pole's down, you can start crafting items via the workbench placed within your radius. So first of all, you need to find these tools to place on your workbench. So there's crowbar, duct tape, pliers, hammer, sledgehammer, screwdriver, hacksaw, and a shovel. And if you go into your inventory, have a look at what you can build by pressing F. You see, if we want to build a shed first, we need six logs, 20 planks, 35 nails, a hammer and a hacksaw. So these tools need to be on those slots. So we need to put the uh, ingredients inside of the workbench you need in order to craft that shed. Come back out, press F again. Click on it, then click craft. Then we have our shed kit spawned at our feet. Bear in mind that these tools here will take damage every time you craft something. So just remember to take them off or replace them or repair them with sharpening stone. Once you have your shed kit, you can place it down within your radius. So you just tap left click, hold left click to place it. 
Now all doors, this won't work at the moment. So we need to get a lock, a code lock. Attach the code lock. Put a code in. Twice, you can have up to seven characters. And then you'll be able to open it. So once you know how to start crafting now, you can start crafting these kits and you can be begin to place them down in your uh, radius. We start with the floor. Then we get a regular wall. So you, the hologram has a green and a red side for walls, gates. This is to help you build because you can place um, camo nets and barbed wire on these so you'll place them from the green side and they'll appear on the red so you don't want barbed wire facing inwards to your base if you press x also you can snap and it'll snap to anywhere that you look at and then once it's in its snap position you can scroll and it'll switch between sides so we want the green on the inside Place that. Again, we have um, cinder stuff also, which basically cinder you can only raid gates and doors. Cinder will take twice as many raid tools as a wood or wood. To get it to work again, put a code lock on it. No, it's fine. Same goes for windows. Windows will only open if you put a code lock on them also. And obviously only people with the code can open them. If you want to place barbed wire or camo nets on your uh, base, you go on the inside, read the green side of the hologram which you placed earlier, and then you get your barbed wire and you place it on, on these slots here, camo net slots here. So then as you can see, it has the barbed wire here. You need some pliers in your hands to look at it. It'll say mount. Hold the button. And you can mount these on the tops and the bottoms. Think of doors, you can just mount them on the tops of. See, I put a code lock on here, uh, on here as well. Take, take them off. Just drag it off from the inside. You can't, um, you can't take these off from the outside, so there'll be nobody stealing them. Then you take them off from the inside. Obviously, 